I'm John Harbin, and these are your week's top headlines, and this is your News of the Week. More than $1.2 million in farm equipment was lost in a barn fire that broke out just before 6 p.m. Friday, July 2nd in Mills River at the former Roper Dairy Farm. The blaze on Banner Farm Road could be seen for miles and took about an hour to extinguish. About 30 firefighters responded. People filled the City Operations Center for a variance and special use permit hearing concerning Mainstay Women's Shelter. While most people spoke in favor of the shelter staying at its location on 5th Avenue, some Main Street businesses and residents opposed Mainstay's request, saying there have been problems since the shelter moved to the new location. Members of the Hendersonville City Council unanimously voted in favor of Mainstay saying that the shelter is a good steward of the community. Kelsey's Restaurant on Spartanburg Highway in Hendersonville closed over the holiday weekend. Owner Bob Quattlebaum said it was the declining economy that caused him to close the restaurant. He said in an email to the Times News that the restaurant may only be closed temporarily. Firefighters in Henderson County battled two house fires caused by lightning on July 5th, including one blaze that destroyed a million-dollar home where a worker was also reportedly struck by lightning. The fire was first reported at 3.10 p.m. at 503 Solomon Circle off Hebron Road. Flames continued to shoot from the collapsing roof an hour after firefighters arrived. The house looked to be a total loss. The second house fire was reported at 3.45 p.m. at 1401 Locust Grove Road. The fire was extinguished in about 20 minutes. Officials at Mountain Home Fire Department said the house was struck by lightning and there was slight damage. No injuries were reported. A woman whose son was killed when a tractor trailer slammed into a line of cars on I-26 last fall has filed a complaint against the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration after learning that the trucking company had a record of violations. Jackie Novak filed the complaint on June 29th and wants to see a panel created to review current truck safety policies and make sure they are enforced or changed if needed. With county officials touting Spartanburg Highway and downtown Hendersonville as prime viewing areas to watch 4th of July fireworks display, which was launched from Jackson Park, residents lined up chairs in the Harris Teeter and Ingalls parking lots near Greenville Highway to make an evening of it. By 9.30 p.m. when the show started, the area was packed with several hundred spectators. For more on these headlines and other headlines, visit us at blueridgenow.com or be sure to follow us on Facebook or Twitter.